soon covering this tragedy all morning long where a man died, his car crashed in Fremont and caught fire. Yeah, Crown Force Michael Thomas been following the story for us, joins us again from the scene with the update. Michael. Really a horrific scene, and the family members of that loved one are actually here. Take a look behind this fire truck. The coroner's office continues its investigation after taking a body into their care. They've been here since as early as about maybe 4 o'clock this morning. Officials really investigating. It's on Fremont Boulevard, and we've got video of what the scene looked like during the early morning hours. It's between Thornton Avenue and Peralta Boulevard, right in front of Bogey's Pet Supply here in Fremont. You can see that car completely burned and wrapped around a tree with the engine completely fallen out the bottom there and the debris from this crash has spread out across the roadway as far as 100 feet from what we can see. Now the speed limit in this area is 30 miles an hour and that speed limit sign was knocked down during this crash. Police have not given any details on what may have happened or how many people were involved. They actually have not even confirmed if it was a fatality or not. However, family members here on the scene say their loved one, their son, was in the vehicle and did pass away. Back out here live. You can see that fire truck that is currently blocking the scene as the Alameda County Coroner's Bureau continues to investigate. And they are set to have a press conference at 1030 this morning, at which point we're hoping to learn more about what exactly happened. And we will have a crew here on the scene bringing you more details at noon. When it comes to bogeys, I actually did speak with one of the managers there. She says that this is actually the second crash that has happened in front of that pet supply store. She says it's broken the window twice already. Ready, and she says speeding in this specific area is an issue and she says that they have reported it to officials but she says given the severity of this specific accident she hopes that it is a sign for them to take it seriously and in addition she says there's also a lot of schools nearby that worry her when it comes to the speeding again but as we get more details and confirmation of exactly what happened during the early morning hours of this deadly crash we'll keep you updated that is the very latest here in Fremont I'm Michael Thomas Starry and James I'll send it back to you Thank you for that update, Michael. All right, and 10.03 in 